Mark FPV wants to know, are pusher drones with motors upside down or normal drones more efficient as flight time having the exact same components or is there really no difference? Um, there, There is a difference sometimes. The difference is that a, a motor, a, fi- a propeller, when it pulls in air, it pulls in air from all around the propeller, okay? And then when the air comes out of the propeller, it comes out of the propeller in a very sort of narrow column, if you will, a high pressure column. And that high pressure air comes out of the bottom of the prop and then it spreads out, okay? But the high pressure air below the prop is more focused than the low pressure zone at the top of the prop. And what that means is that an obstruction in the airflow in the high pressure zone has a bigger effect on the performance, on the on the thrust and the efficiency. OK, like if you imagine that you took a disc the size of the prop, so you're going to block 100 percent of the prop area. OK, and if you put that disc and you moved it down from the top, the prop would be able to sort of suck air in and still able to make some thrust. But if you move that up, well, I don't actually know if this analogy is going to completely work because now that as you move it up, are you going to get an increase in thrust because now it's got a surface to push against? It has to be, it, the motor has to be mounted to it so that the motor cannot generate thrust by pushing against the platform. So it can't just be a platform you're holding in your hand or as it gets close to the motor, it'll push the motor away and generate thrust. It has to be a part of the frame, okay? The motor is mounted to it. Anyway, the point is, if you're going to have obstructions in the thrust column, it's better to have those obstructions above the prop than below the prop. In other words, pusher configuration. And that's why the places where you see pusher configurations being used most effectively are in things like Cinewhoops where there is a lot of obstruction in the thrust column. Um, so I don't think that there is a meaningful difference in the way that the quadcopter flies most of the time. Like uh, uh, Brandon Beans gave the example of a boat having the prop in the rear versus in the front. Um, I don't know a lot about boats, right? as to whether that analogy really applies. But one thing with boats is that when the prop is in the rear, it's pushing from behind the center of mass. And when the prop is in the front, it's pulling from the front of the center of mass. And that's also true for plane, for airplanes, right? Um, so there are, with, with a quadcopter, when you flip the motors from puller to pusher configuration, there's very little change in where the thrust is relative to the center of mass. And so there's not as much change in sort of the aerodynamics of the quad. I think it has more to do with efficiency and obstruction in the thrust column. I think if there was no obstruction in the thrust column, then there would be no difference.